Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video I'm going to show you a really cool collaboration between the Space Mesh Reward Tracker app, which I highly recommend getting, and I will put a link in the description to get it, and Nodemon. So if you've already been using Nodemon, you know you can get your layers very much like what I'm showing here. If you've used Nodemon before, you know that this is very sad. I missed three layers here, these pending ones. Uh, I was doing a little bit of a hardware reconfiguration and I just couldn't get the node back up in time. But uh, trying to move past that, bad times. Uh, there's a new feature in the Space Mesh Reward Tracker that allows you to upload your reward or your layers so you can track them very similar to this layers screen. So we don't always wanna be glued to our computers. If you need to go somewhere and you have the Space Mesh Reward Tracker app, you'll be able to import your layers. And in order to do that, you need a JSON export of those layers. And you could also do um, like the SMAP layers as well that are comma separated values and we'll cover that as well but this I think is the best way to do it. So all you have to do is load up Nodemon and from really any screen you can either press this E for uh, export or you can just hit the E button and there's a few things you can do. You can export your layers as a JSON, layers as a CSV, your nodes as a JSON, and your nodes as a CSV. For this demo, we only need our, and it's kind of confusing because there's an X in here, but when you click it, you see it like changes colors just a little bit. So you actually have to click it. You should see an X. I don't know what color it'll be on your screen, but what you're going to want to do is export the layers JSON, and then you will just click export. And it looks like nothing's done, but in your directory where you're running Nodemon, uh, actually, let me see if I can get mine up here. Sometimes it takes a second to share this stuff. Uh, okay, let me see if I can move that. Okay, there's a little bit of black stuff at the top there, but should be fine. So you'll see I now have a layers.json that I exported just now at 7.20 in the morning. I know, and it's a holiday, so I'm working on my day off. Uh, and you can open up this layers.json, and that's going to be a representation. Uh, oh boy, this one's getting good because now I'm going to share my notepad. All right. So now you can see my notepad. And what you're going to get is just your node ID and all the layers assigned, node ID, all the layers assigned, node ID, all the layers assigned. And what you're going to do is you're going to, what I do is I just send this to myself on Discord and then open Discord in my phone and download it to my phone. You could email it to yourself. Um, you could send it any number of ways that as long as you can get it on your phone then you can upload it into um, the Space Mesh Reward Tracker app, and then you'll be able to track these layers on your app, which is awesome. So we're going to, now that we have this export, I'm going to um, just send this to myself in Discord. I have a server that I just, I don't know if there's a way to like message yourself in Discord. I just have like a personal, server with some friends and I just message it to myself there. So um, however you want to do it, email, Discord, uh, I'm sure there's other ways. Just the main thing is you need to get it to a place where you can open it up and download it on your phone. So I'm going to stop the video here because I'm going to actually go to my phone, screen record my actions, and then I'll come back and walk you through it and show the screen recording on uh, the video here. So I will be back. All right, we are back and I just have this little video of myself on my phone here. I have it at half speed so I can explain a little bit. Uh, but basically the first thing I'm gonna do is open up Discord. I'm gonna go to my Discord server, download the layers.json 
file and I'm going to just save to files and then I'm going to save it to my downloads folder and it's pretty easy I'm not sure about Android how to do it but I'm sure it's a similar thing once I've downloaded it I want to open up the space mesh reward tracker app so I will then minimize everything get to my space mesh reward tracker app and then I'm going to click my saved account and once I'm inside there, if I click reward details, that's where I have the option to plus the, press the plus button at the bottom right and then import layers. And from there, I can import the JSON that I just downloaded. And you will see in a moment, you'll get a history and upcoming. So these are all the ones that I received and also the ones that I failed to get, which really stinks. But it is what it is. And then if you go to upcoming, you will be able to see future rewards. And there's a lot of really cool information here. You can see, of course, the time that the layer is expected to occur. You can see the layer number, the Smesher ID, and then how long until you get that. And if you upload all of your layers for all of your nodes, you'll have a really good idea of when you can expect the next rewards to come in. So this is a really cool feature. There is a lot that you can do with it. And there's another thing that you can do, which I will cover, which is you can actually export a template. And then from that template, you can upload your layers as well. So if you don't have NodeMon, you don't want to install NodeMon, there's another way you can do it. And I'll cover that in a moment when I'm back because I need to go do it and record it. All right, there is, it's hard to see because the play button is a little bit in the way, but there's a little green icon down here. This is to export a template. So if you don't have NodeMon, if you're just using Snap, it's pretty easy to do. What you're gonna do is click, uh, let me just hit play here, see if the bar goes away. There we go. Oh. Basically, you hit that little button, you click export, save it just basically the way that you would normally on your phone. And let me just play through that one more time. So you can see at the bottom right, I click that little green icon. Then I click export layers. I save to files. I save it to my downloads. And then what I'm gonna do is basically the reverse of what I just showed you with importing it, where I'm going to open up my Discord. Not prepared as usual. Uh, Window capture discord. Okay, you should see my discord here and I've, these are just the videos that I uploaded, but basically there's this um, text.txt file here. And what I'm going to do is just download that and I'm going to open it and bring up my notepad again, but I'm gonna hide this. And we can see the supported formats here. So we have format one, which is basically, you're gonna put your um, Smesher ID here. So if we just kind of delete this, and get this out of the way, um, delete this here, uh, just to remove that, but you take your Smesher ID from SMAP. So if you go to your Smeshing tab and SMAP and then uh, you can copy your Smesher ID and you'll post it in here. And then you'll just take the layers and the count of them. So if there's more than one, um, this is really the top one is more for uh, if you're going to be getting it from gRPC. So if you're going to use like the gRPC uh, endpoints to get your layers, you can see it in the event stream. You're can, you can basically just copy paste it for this. Um, for each section. So each section will have um, like a Smesher ID. So you have to go to each of your nodes and export it. And then for SMAP, if you're just using SMAP, it's better for this part because you can copy it in your event stream. And unfortunately, I don't have a SMAP node that actually has layers, so I can't show you. But if you go to Smashing tab and you go to events, then you'll be able to see the layers, it's a comma separated list of numbers that look very similar to this. And you can just paste them in here. 
and you're only going to want to do one of these. So if you're not doing this top one, you know, you just want to have uh, this here and you're going to paste, uh, save this. So we would just save uh, whatever this information is. And then we'd upload it the same way that I just showed you before. You can send it to your Discord. You can send it to whatever. Um, you'll be able to then upload it into the app. So that is how you would import and export your layers. Um, hopefully this helped. I know the template, that I, the part that I just went over is a little bit difficult because I couldn't actually show you the SMAP part. But if you have questions, uh, we can answer uh, in, in YouTube. You know, Feel free to post a comment or you can message me in Discord and I'll be happy to help you there. So hopefully this video was helpful. I will see you in the next one.